When we think of space, we think of an endless void of stars and planets spread out in every direction. So why is the solar system flat? Each planet in our solar system is on a solid plane, with some planets only differing a degree or two at most from the plane axis around the sun. What stops our solar system from orbiting like an atom? Actually, if we zoom out even further, the entire galaxy is on one single plane, nearly 100,000 light years across, but only 100 light years thick. Our galaxy is basically a giant pancake, and amazingly, with all the planets and stars in that galaxy, everything is spinning in the same direction. But if space stretches in every direction, how is this possible? This question was pondered by philosophers and astronomers for years. This was eventually solved in the mid-18th century by Immanuel Kant in a theory he named as the Nebular Hypothesis. He theorized that the solar system started as a nebula, or also known as a massive gas cloud. This gas cloud was filled with particles that whizzed by each other crashing and colliding. However, as the particles smash into each other, they began to make bigger particles, which collapse in on themselves, collecting even more particles. These particles start to spin in one direction from the collisions of the other particles around it. And since there's no friction in space, once an object is spinning, it doesn't stop or slow down. And as the particles continue to collapse and gather more particles, it begins to spin faster and faster. It's almost like when you go to a playground and the children on a merry-go-round will pull their body closer to the center and the merry-go-round will spin faster and faster. Only these are massive cosmic forces at work. Then the material of the nebula gets trapped on the single plane, collecting particles to create planets and stars. But nothing can fall into this plane because of the centrifugal force that's being applied. Imagine the gravitron at your local fair. At a cosmic level, this is our galaxy. But what about other galaxies? Elliptical galaxies are the most abundant type of galaxies found in the universe, but because of their age and dim qualities, they're frequently outshone by younger, brighter collections of stars. Elliptical galaxies lack the swirling arms of their more well-known counterparts, spiral galaxies like the Milky Way. Instead, they bear the rounded shape of an ellipse, a stretched out circle. So how are they created? One theory is they are created when two galaxies collide together, like how the Milky Way galaxy is set to collide with the nearby Andromeda galaxy in a few billion years. Others speculate that a supermassive black hole is the cause of this shape. When these monsters ravage a galaxy, it can throw all kinds of forces out of whack, but nobody knows for sure. Another form of galaxy is irregular galaxies. Irregular galaxies have no particular shape. They are considered very young and among the smallest galaxies and are full of gas and dust. It's believed many are starting nebular hypothesis as we speak. Having a lot of gas and dust means these galaxies have a lot of star formation going on within them. This can make them very bright. But let's focus back in on our galaxy. So if our galaxy is all around us, what's up or down? Really, not much. Eventually, after traveling for light years, you will find other galaxies, but otherwise it's pretty much an endless void, except for a few roaming black holes. But we'll get to those in another video. But now I want to know what you believe. Do you think the nebular hypothesis is a good explanation on why our galaxy is flat? Or do you believe it's something else? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like. And maybe even subscribe for more great content. We do all the research so you don't have to. And as always, I'm Alex and I hope you have a fantastic day. Cuts deeper than the roots of the trees that we planted in the graveyard. I don't think these scars will ever fade off. Good thing nothing seems to phase us. So numb.